Hey guys, Mike Martin here. Right, uh, today I'm just going to quickly show you, we, we had a bit of a promotion a few weeks back and um, basically a lot of you's got the Google questions and answers too and I'd show you, I said I'd show you how I'm using it inside of my uh, my computer. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how I uni use it for the internal linking and to generate content for me. So the first thing I'll do is I'll come up obviously to one of my websites that I want, I want to do it on. Okay, now the first two thing I do is I grab the URLs I want to use. So, right. Here's a Google questions and answers tool. This is the folder where they're going to pop up when, when it's loaded. Now, the one I like to use is locksmith near me. Anything near me, plumber near me, roofer near me, because that's what pops up on your mobile when you pop it in. So I just like to use it. Uh, you don't have to, you can pick any question you want. You just add in a question here, all right? Right, number of, of questions to return. Now, Lloyd told me we can do 30 on here, so I do 30. Right, then I want the URLs I'm going to use. I have two URLs, right? And I will explain why I do it the way I do it in a minute. So first of all, I copy the first one. So I've got this, this first URL. I take it over to uh, Patrick's spin text tool. Click on it and paste the first line in there. Uh, the first URL in there. Then I go back and I take one of the magic pages. Okay, so I'll click on, I've got it as a single link to the first magic page here. I'll highlight that, copy the URL. Oh, come back over to Patrick's tool, stick it in there, and then I'll put square brackets around there and I'll type in the word slug. Okay, so we've now got that and that's it, that's all you need. I, I don't bother with any more than that. You can do it, there's loads of fancy ways of doing it, there's loads of ways of making it super complicated and all that other crazy shit. I, I just don't bother. I literally stick that in. That's all I stick in, okay? So I've got the magic page and I have the home URL. So I'll go in, I'll paste that in. And then I'll click, oh. I think it looks like it was still running from something then. I've already, I've, I've, I use this a lot, so it's, it's probably one of my favorite tools. Right, so now I'll click run, and what it'll do is it'll open, um, it'll open Google, and it'll start going through and, and doing a load of searches and stuff. One second, I'll show you that before I, there you go. See what's running through and doing doing this crazy stuff? When it's finished, it'll, it'll, um, it'll upload a load of files for us. So whilst, whilst you're watching that, I'll go back over and I'll show you how I do my, these internal linking structure here, because you see that oh, they're all different. Okay, and there's three on every line, and the way I do that, just while we're on, I might as well show you how, because it's an internal linking video. <laughs> I've got something how cool, I'm gonna show you with the images in the next day or so. Uh, something that Patrick Tuttle's been uh, showing me, it's absolutely cool, and I'll show you, I'm using it here actually, see this? There's actually 150 images there. <laughs> You'll have to wait for that one. Right, so if we click on here and click the edit button, as you can see, I've got cities count equals three, Type is UL, which is an unordered list, which shows it as, a, as bullets. Major cities equals false, so there's no major cities in there. Max radius equals one. Okay, then if you go to the next one, you'll see the max radius is, sorry, minimum radius is two miles, maximum radius is three miles. Then I'll go over to here, and you can pause the video to get the code. Minimum radius four miles, maximum radius five miles. So every single one is different, and it's just going out in distance from the business. Minimum radius equals six, max radius equals seven. And then the very final one, it'll be eight to, to nine. Now, I think this is a 10 mile radius website, so that's the reason it goes out as far as it does. Uh, I was talking to Daryl Ledger the other day. He's got a really cool way of doing it. He pulls the first five in just standard, puts them at the top of his page because they're the five, cl three, five closest to the page he's on. Then what he does is, is he has um, major cities equals true, and then he has a major cities list link in the middle of his page, and then right down the bottom of his page, it goes, it goes a fair distance away, like 15, 20 miles away, and pulls in another five links. So the most important links are at the top of the page, and the least important links are down the bottom. Anyway, that's how he does it. I really, really like the way he does it. If people want me to do a video, I'll show you that, or I can get Daryl to do it. It's pretty cool the way he does it. Okay, guys, uh, right, I'll stop waffling. Let's see if this is done. Okay, we're done. Okay, so you can see it's pulled in four files here now. Where's the schema one? Because I need that. Okay, we've got it there. Right, wicked. So the next thing we do is you want the modified file, okay? Now if I click right click and open with, I want to open this with Google Chrome, but not Google Chrome for Mac. I want to do it on normal Google Chrome. Right, and what you see is you've got these stupid video things that pop up all the way down. I don't know how many we're going to get, but we should get a few, all right? right it's a super simple way of getting rid of them, right? And the first time I tried doing it, it was a nightmare. I couldn't figure it out, okay? What you do is you right click your view page source, okay? Then you right click and then you, in fact, if I press command and A, sorry. And you can right click and select all I think as well. Right, I'm gonna copy the whole code from the back of the uh, view page source. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to my website and let's say we wanted to do an FAQ section here, yeah? 
I'm gonna add a little section in the middle here. I'm gonna go up here, and I like the tabs. It's totally up to you what you use. I just stick it in the tab, it's just how I do it. So I'll pop the tab in there. I've got two tabs, so I'll delete one. Click on that, and then I'll just put FA, oops, sugar, what if I just pressed? Sorry, thank you, see how I didn't swear. He <laughs> makes a change. Right, so then what I do is go into here, I click on the text tab, not visual, text, yep. And click paste. So we placed a whole lot in here. Now if you scroll down, and what you'll see is there's places with dollars and places with pounds. This is a UK site, so I'll go through and change all that later. I'll, I'll, I'll copy and paste, uh, find and replace dollar and, and replace it with pounds. You don't need to do that. Uh, sorry, I'm not going to do it on the video because it'll take up loads of time, but obviously if you're doing it in America, you want to replace the pounds with dollars. Right, but you see these daft things here. Now, if I try and click on that to try and delete it, it just moves up and down. It's impossible. It seems impossible to do. Right, so what I do is I press Command and F and I type in YouTube. Okay, YouTube. Right, and I can see there, you can't see it's just out of view for you guys, but it's got 25 YouTubes on the page. Right, if I do that, you see how it highlights it in this box here. Let me open it up a little bit for you. Okay. Now I'll go to the, back, back to the YouTube. Right, so you see it's there, so you know, ah, there's a video here, right? What you do is, little trick with this is, you click it three times, you go near it, don't have to click on the YouTube, just in front of me, watch. One, two, three. Highlights the full div, okay? And you delete, right? And you go back up to your find and click, whew, search for the next one, go in front of it, one, two, three. Cool, eh? It gets rid of the full div, no messing around. One, two, three. And the next YouTube, one, two, three, delete. I don't want them daft videos on my page. It's totally up to you if you keep them. Gone, right, they're all gone now. Okay, so so that's them gone. So now if I click update. <coughs> oh, if you can hear my little girl downstairs smashing a bedroom up, <laughs> we're all in isolation, there's nothing I can do about it. Right, so now the Q and A's are done, yeah? So now if I go view page, what you're gonna see is, we will, right, now the reason I do it the way I do it with the slug is because what happens is this, and, and Matt said it the other day, internal linking is super, super, super important, okay? Now, so we've got these internal linking that, that shares it around the site, but if we go to the FAQs, what you're gonna find is you wave over one, that takes us back, that, that actually links us to this same page that we're currently on. Okay, so we'll click on it, it's still taking me to the same page, it's still it's still the, the Weymouth page, okay? Right, so, but if I scroll back down, so that one's taking us to Weymouth, that one's taking us to the home page, right? So what we're doing here is we're, we're building relevance inside the site by saying, how much does a locksmith cost UK to this Weymouth page? Is a locksmith expensive? Go to the home page, right? How do I find a reputable locksmith goes to the home page? How much does it cost to change a lock that goes to the Weymouth page? Now, if we go to one of the other pages, okay, Grove, for example, they will link to the Grove page. So the actual internal linking is just internally linking it around the, the page that it's currently on. As you can see in this area, we haven't got three within a, a two to three mile radius. I showed you the code earlier. And we haven't got three between, in the first mile. So they've only got two and one to make sure they're all unique. See that moving? There's the 150 images, guys. Oh, I can't wait to show you how that's done. You're gonna love it, it's brilliant. It's absolutely amazing for SEO. Still finalizing a few bits on it, but it's gonna be wicked. So if I wave over that now, you can see Grove. Go over that one there, now you can see Dorset. And if we screw it down, look, can a locksmith open a house door? That's gonna to go to Grove. Can you trust the locksmith? That's going to the Grove. So these are all linking back to the page that they're currently on. So if I click on it, that one's going to the home page. sorry. That one's linking back to this page. And what it's doing is building relevance inside the link for, for the internal linking, okay? So that's that's how I've been using it. Then after I've done that, I go back over to the Q&A tool, right? Shut that thing down, and I go to the schema one. I click right click, and open with, I won't open it with Coda, I should just have a little normal notepad that'll do it. Not the Mac one. Okay, I've got all that crap there, yeah? So I'll click A, and then copy, so. Copy like that, yeah? Take this back over to the page. Go into Edit Magic Page, and I have a head and footer code thing installed. So as you can see on this one, I'm still building this site, so I've not even put any metal titles or anything, but I have put the schema in, the, the basic simple schema builder for the locksmith so far. Then what I'll do is I'll go to the head code here, and I'll paste this in, right? But what I have a habit of doing is I have a habit of, of deleting the script from the bottom and the script from the top of another one, and then I just stick them all together. It's a bit 
more of a technical video than that, but I can I can I can create a video on that soon. So I'll do that, then I'll go and click update. Obviously, I'll do all my meta descriptions and all that crap. I've just not done it for this video. Right, so we'll update this page and I go over to view magic page. Okay, let's just scroll down and pick up pick the West Ham one. And then I'll click on SEO Quick Toolbar, diagnose, and what you're gonna see is Inside the schema now, we should have a rating schema, which I haven't put on, it was just on the page somehow, so um, we should have a locksmith schema with one error. What's the error? Whew. Oh, I've not done an S, an image. You know what you say at the back end of the thing, I could do that. Okay, so we've got locksmith schema, we've got the rating schema, and we've got the FAQs. Okay, so inside your FAQs now, just because you copy and pasted all this in, you've got how much does a locksmith cost? Answer. Locksmith cost UK national cost, um, minimum cost is 65 quid. UK national maximum cost 90 quid. That's per hour labour. Now, if you go and view my um, my pricing, I'll put pricing in here that says, don't make me look like a liar. I know I will. There you go. 65 pound per hour plus parts. Okay, so I'll put that in there. Um, and it's my number. I'll actually go out and do jobs on this site because I'm, I'm sick of being stuck in the house. Uh, you get your opening and closing time, so I'll do 10 till, till, 10 till 6. Um, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but we have our Wednesday webinars, so I only do 10 to 4. So as you can see, I actually go out and do um, and do jobs on these sites. And this, this is new, I've just, just come back to the UK. Um, but as you can see, so the schema's all in there, it's all built, yeah? Go back to the home website and we've got all of our internal linking and as you can see we've got a massive load of content there that's super super relevant questions and answers it's been given to us by google and i'll stick it on a page and leave it on there and i found that this link works i've shown you the milkman site the other day that's doing between 30 and 40 leads a day in fact if i go over and click on the milkman.org site what milkman.org.uk another little thing i've done on here is i've put a big white banner up now as well that says first try clicking here to see if you qualify for two hour free delivery <laughs> and when you click it it takes me over to my amazon <laughs> anything they buy in the next 24 hours on amazon i um i get it <laughs> i get a commission so it's just another way of making money okay guys anyway i hope you like the video um i'll do the images video as soon as it's ready um anyone's got any anything they need help with or all like that give me a shout um, I've just reached out to Lloyd before doing this video and I've asked him for a discount coupon. If he gives it me, then there'll be a link in the bottom of the video down below somewhere that you can click and it'll say get your coupon code and it'll enable you. Now it won't be as big a discount as, as the very first one we ever did because that was a limited number, but I've kept my room in my room because I've had tons of people asking me, um, can, can we get that same discount again? So I'm asking him if he gives it me, there'll be a coupon code in the bottom. If he doesn't give it me, I'll still put a link to his tool in the bottom for you anyway, guys. Okay then, thank you very much. Cheers, bye-bye.